Samsung's flagship tablet of 2019, the successor to the Tab S4, is going to be called the Galaxy Tab S6, not the Tab S5, and it's looking to give the iPad Pro a run for its money. Samsung is set to launch the Galaxy Note 10 on August 7th, but it might not be the only device Samsung is going to review that day. They might also launch the Galaxy Tab S6, just like last year when it reviewed the Galaxy Tab S4 alongside the Galaxy Note 9. But why call it the Tab S6 and not the Tab S5? Well, we don't know their reason. It's the same way they skipped the Galaxy Note 6 and went with the Note 7. But I think it's because they already launched a Tab S5e and don't want to confuse their customers, or probably because of the generational jump in processing power, which I think sounds like a more plausible reason. We'll get back to that shortly. A few moments later. The Tab S6 is packed with the top end specs you would expect from a 2019 flagship device and has some pretty interesting design choices. First and most noticeable of which is the docking position of the S Pen. It's on the back of the tablet, which is a strange place for it to be. You see, other tablets like the iPad Pro and Microsoft Surface have their pen docked by the side of the tablet, so you can easily take it when you need it and put it away when you don't. And when the tablet is placed on a flat surface, it's not gonna wobble because the pen is on the side. But placing the S Pen on the back of the tablet means when it's docked, it'll stick out of the tablet and make it unable to lie flat on a table. And when using it with the keyboard, it might be troublesome reaching for the pen at the back of the tablet. The worst part might be using it in portrait when the pen is on the back. It might get really uncomfortable. Of course, we'd have to get the tablet in hand to see if these problems actually exist. But I am sensing some ergonomic red flag on the position of the S Pen. Maybe it's just me. The second most noticeable design choice is the addition of a secondary camera to the back. Which is surprising because there is no tablet out there with a second camera on the back. Maybe it's because tablets aren't really used for photography. That's what phones are for. That's why we have 3 to 4 cameras on the back of 2019 flagships. So adding a secondary camera to a tablet is definitely gonna attract some eyes. Although it's still uncertain what kind of camera it's gonna be. But definitely either a telephoto, an ultra wide angle or a time of flight sensor. Either way, dual cameras on a tablet will be well appreciated. The Tab S6 will most likely have a 10.5 inch AMOLED display with a 2K resolution just like its predecessor and the Tab S5e. It will house a 6840 mAh battery under the hood, which is disappointing because it's significantly smaller than the 7300 mAh capacity on the Tab S4. It's gonna be powered by the Qualcomm Snapdragon 855, which is the generational jump in processing power I spoke of, because the Tab S4 was powered by the Qualcomm Snapdragon 835, which is two years older than the 855. It will be accompanied by six or eight gigabytes of RAM, which is plenty enough for everyday tasks. There's no information on the price, but if I'm to make a wild guess, it will be between six to 800 US dollars. Let me know what you guys think about Samsung's upcoming flagship tablet in the comment section below. Will it be an iPad Pro killer or just another tablet that can't touch the iPad? Like if you enjoyed the video and subscribe and hit the bell icon so you don't miss any future videos. Thanks for watching guys. See you in the next one.